booktube so I want to talk about my goals for 2021 the new year um, before I start with them I want to say that um, I don't put a lot of pressure on myself with reading I mean yes my numbers are insane but um, <laughs> it doesn't stress me out um, I try not to think about the numbers um, <laughs> if I didn't have a, a Goodreads uh, account I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't check this at all and for years and years and years I never paid attention to how many books I read. I've always read a lot. But um so yeah, I just say like this this isn't to stress me out. It doesn't stress me out. Um if I don't hit the goals then uh, then I'll be okay. <laughs> like I'm just happy to be reading and reading good books is, is what um matters most to me. Um so that being said, um I read a total of uh, 461 books in 2020. Um, a lot of that is due to COVID and um, working from home in particular. That um, saved me a lot of time just with the commute and, you know, getting ready for work. And also just having that, you know, that tires you out, I think, compared to, you know, working from home. It's a little bit more relaxed and you do get some time there and a little bit more energy. And so, yeah, that's that's why I read so much because my initial goal of 2020 was to read 365 books, which was a lot. I mean, I had never read 365 books before. Um, I read a total of like three, 351, I don't know what some of these odd numbers, but 351 the year before. So, okay, 365, you know, that's, I like that number. Um, I'm just gonna shoot for that. And cause I just wanna read a little bit more than I read the year before. That's always like my kind of unset goal, but now it is set since I have good reads. <laughs> but, uh, so yes, um, so for this year, for 2021, I want to read 462. And I waffled back and forth on this because like, do I want to set my goal of one more book than last year? And like, cause that 2020 was a, um, you know, a stranger for all of us. And it was, I don't know if what 20, 2021 is going to bring, um, you know, uh, with with everything being you know hectic and when you will know, stay hectic or you know what's gonna happen, but I'm okay. Let me just let me just let's just see. Let's just see what what will happen. Um, so yes, um, I read. Um, what matters more to me than the books is the page numbers because I want to see how many um, like pages I read a month or how many pages am I reading a day. And so I read a total. Um, I have to, one second. Let me look at my phone. What that number was. Um, uh, let's see, I read a total of 140,538 pages, and this, um, it, it differs a bit because it depends on, um, like, the version of the books. I never change the, the book format to what, you know, the right cover and everything I'm reading. I'm just like, I'll leave it to, you know, that average or what have you. And it doesn't include the books I'm currently in the middle of. Um, I really wished I had finished a Red Comet in particular because um, Red Comet is a biography of uh, Sylvia Plath. And the author name is escaping me, but because that was it was so good. But I had to give it back to my library, and I didn't finish it in time. I have like half of it left, but it was phenomenal. That for sure would have made it in my top uh, nonfiction reads. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. <laughs> um, so I read um, that number of pages, and so I read, it equals out to three hundred and eighty-five pages a day, and um, <laughs> which is a lot. Uh, and which which is surprising is that um, I didn't read that many audiobooks this year. Um, I used to listen to audiobooks while I was in the office, but uh, now that I've been working from home, I've um, been watching like booktube videos or YouTube videos um, instead. Um, I think just have like that people contact in a way because like um, I'm in a, I'm in alone in my in my home and you know I'm you know social distancing and I'm not interacting with people and so um, my audiobooks really went down. So now I'm like I'm listening to maybe five if that, a month, and, um, so yeah, this number isn't a product of audiobooks, if, if any of you are wondering about that, I don't know, I was like, this is all I read with my eyeballs, <laughs> um, so yes, anyway, um, so 462, we'll, we'll see how that goes, and another, um, goal, um, I set for myself in 2020, when I knew I wasn't going to finish this, was to start reading the Newbery Winner and Honors books, and these are for, like, children, or middle grade books, and um, I really enjoy reading uh, children's and middle grade book and books. And so this was, I set this um, goal for me because I know there's so many more out there that I am completely unaware of. And so I thought, you know, this is a war that, you know, it's been running for a long time since like 1922 or 21 or 20, early 1920s, um, which you think I would know that because I, I started at the beginning and I'm working my, my way forward. But I can't exactly remember. Um, and so for those, I'm not reading. I'm not reading them all like front to back if I, I don't like them. And so I have, like, especially the, in the early years, I was dropping them left and right because I was like, no, this is not going to work for me. And so yeah, I, I don't also. If anyone's also wondering, I don't know. If, I don't know why I have to self 
I don't know why I, why I have to explain myself exactly, but that number, the 461 books I read, doesn't include the NF. Um, so yeah, technically I read more pages than that, but whatever. <laughs> um, so yes, I, I dropped quite a few off um, that I just didn't like. And, and there's a couple others were that were just very hard to find, which I'm not going to dig and like create a hassle or hassle for myself to try and get them so um but but that being said quite a few were available um through my library or through hoopla and so um yeah I've been reading um, a bunch of those and I've gotten to 1944 um which I when I set this project back in last year I had wanted to do this in three years so I really have to up my game because you know now we're in, we're in 2021 and so um yeah reading just 20 years <laughs> Uh, two decades is not going to cut it if I want to complete this um, by um, in the end of next year. Um, so yeah, I, I do want to put some emphasis on um, reading those and hopefully I'm going to enjoy them more than this last year because like, I think I, you know, as we're getting closer to like a more current day, um, then I think we um, maybe a little bit better. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll report back with that. And then another goal, I, I don't know, it's a semi goal I have. I'm not sure. Um, when I was looking through all the books that I read uh, this previous previous year, um, I noticed that I haven't read a lot of sci-fi, um, so it's just kind of like random. Um, but uh, but yes, I do want to read um, more of that. And like speaking of the Sylvia Sylvia Plath, I would like to read more poetry. Um, I very rarely read poetry, but I do like it. So I would like to have like a book like on the go. Like I don't want to I don't have a goal of finishing one every month, but maybe every two or three months just to have like that different kind of uh, writing style um, in my life I think I would enjoy um, and also like help me like comprehend it um, because sometimes I can read, read a poem and it just goes like you uh, you know like in, in one ear out the other kind of thing and like, I'll like, attain it and then, I'll, and then I'll just like move on and so I really want to like sit back and like think about um, the poems and so that's why I don't want to like rush through a, a poetry collection but yeah I do want to um, pick up some of those if any of you have any recommendations for different poets I'm all ears. Um, I, I, I'm very new to it. Like I've read, um, you know, what was assigned to me in school and in college, but I haven't really, um, stepped, stepped outside of that, except for a few here and there, like different random uh, authors. Um, so yeah, you know, please let me know. And then, um, another goal, um, that's more, um, concrete, um, outside of like tentative, like, you know, reading more sci fi and poetry is, um, I'm going to be starting a book journal, which I don't know why I haven't started one sooner. I, um, I think I, I was talking to, um, the book zealots, um, uh, in the comments about that. Um, and they're like, oh, why haven't you done it sooner? I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, I do want to keep track of, um, well, I use Goodreads to keep track of what, what I've read, but I want to use the book journal to really like hone in on what the book's about and um, in particular my thoughts on the book, like my, like a mini review. And I don't want like a long like review. I'm not going to be right. I'm not like, I want like, you know, a half page to one page. One page is maybe too much. Like half a page of um, what I'm reading. And that will um, help me like attain what I'm reading. Because I, I do remember, like those 461 books, I remember most of them. But of course some of them blur together if they're um, like along, the, along the similar lines. Like the contemporaries um, kind of blend together. But um, yeah, I, I think that would, that, would, that would definitely help me. And also if I want to reflect back, then um, yeah, I think that would it would, it would keep it... Um, in my mind and also like I, I want to improve my writing because <laughs> I, I used to love to write especially like creative writing like a teacher gave me a task and like she, she would talk about you know a prompt and I just couldn't wait to start and so I really want to get back into writing and I know that was a goal for last year and I completely failed on that one I I meant to start uh, like a daily journal or something just to get the or just a get back into the swing of things but that did not happen at all and so this year I am determined every day I'm going to spend like you know five ten minutes just to write you know briefly and so maybe that will inspire me and motivate me to participate in like you know writing challenge or just get, get me writing get me like more creative thinking instead of just like you know absorbing book content I want to you know put some of that out there and I'm not saying I want to be an author or I want to publish a book but I just want to you know uh what do, I, what do I say? Like exercise that muscle. Um, so yeah, those are my um, <laughs> kind of haphazard goals. Um, let me know, um, you know, if you have any goals for this year or if you think I'm absolutely nuts <laughs> for this, this goal I'm putting myself. But again, I'm not stressed about it. It's just, um, yeah, it surprised me. Like, because uh, like when I read these books, I, um, in each month, 
I didn't think about, like I said, I don't check this, these numbers. Um, and so <laughs> I didn't, uh, I, I don't know, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like I read that many books, if that, if that makes sense. And I, and I look at the average, the average um, page count per book was a little bit over 300 pages. So I wasn't reading little small books. Um, but, but yeah, anyway, it's just, it's kind of weird. And reflecting back, yeah. <laughs> And this this whole video, you know, makes me, uh, you know, th look at that. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for uh, uh, for that. Uh, so anyway, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, BookTube.